as you can see, I have a little prop out here. Uh, I'm gonna use this to help show you why centrifugal force is very important in not only speeding the club up, but squaring it as well, and how some of the things that uh, we're trying to do actually fight centrifugal force. Now, centrifugal force, big word, you know, I don't like to be technical, but sometimes you have to be. Centrifugal force, and the physicists will probably get mad at me for not explaining it correctly, but essentially it's an outward force that's created by a spinning object, okay? The spinning object is your body when you turn, and the outward force will affect the club head out at the end of your golf shaft if you allow it to. Now, this is a bucket of water, okay? And obviously, if I held the bucket of water up sideways, some of the water would fall out. But if you spin, okay, I'm gonna make myself sick, okay? As I was spinning there, the centrifugal force held the water up against the bottom of the bucket, okay? That's the outward force. Now, when you make a golf swing, okay, and you turn, centrifugal force will pull the club away from you in the same way it pulled the water up against the bottom of the bucket, okay? And that gets you full extension right there on a good golf swing, okay? That's when the club is at the furthest point away from you, okay? Now, if you do anything to fight that, you won't get full extension. You might go like this, okay? But the reason why you want that full extension is just before you get that full extension is impact, which is what's important. If you're taking full advantage of centrifugal force, the golf club will come into the ball square more consistently and hit straighter shots more consistently if you let centrifugal force take the club from here to there as you turn your body. Now, my favorite thing to rail against is lag, okay? Lag is great, I've never said it wasn't, okay? But if you are actively holding that lag, okay? Actively holding it, trying to hold that angle, making that angle smaller on the way down. I've talked about how it narrows your arc, how it's hard to get the club under the plane, how it's hard to consistently square it. Well, now we're to the main point. If you are actively holding that lag, even a smidgen at anywhere in your downswing, you are fighting that centrifugal force, okay? So think of it this way, that you're, you're holding on to this bucket of water. And if you turn, you just let your arms go with the turn and centrifugal force, just like putting the water up against the bottom of the bucket, will pull that club head away from you. I know I've said that already, but that's very important. If you hold the lag, the water is gonna splash out of the bucket and come right on your chest or at the very least your feet. Even worse, those of you who like to get scared and go like this, the double chicken wing, um, not trying to make fun of you, okay, well maybe I am a little, you're gonna dump that water all over yourself, okay? So when you're swinging the golf club, picture me holding this bucket and swinging and being very relaxed in the arms and hands and wrists and allow centrifugal force to create the natural rotation of your body that your anatomy creates when your arms extend. You don't have to extend your arms on purpose. You don't want to hold the lag because you don't want to throw it because you're not only are you, if you're holding the lag, you're fighting centrifugal force. If you're throwing it or casting it, you're just not taking advantage of it. Two sides of the same coin. So the point of this rant is centrifugal force is there. It's our friend. You need to take advantage of it. And doing things with your hands and tension in your arms and shoulders and wrists, anything that fights that centrifugal force is not only going to prevent you from having a consistent squaring of the club, it is going to slow the club down so no matter how much lag you get, if you're forcing that lag in there with your hands, you're fighting centrifugal force, and whatever energy boost you might get from unwinding that lag late 
is being more than canceled out by how much you're fighting the centrifugal force of the club wanting to extend your arms.